stop, stop. It's, it's too pink. It's too pink in here. Change it back. Change it back. <laughs> Moonbeam City, Comedy Central's adorable attempt to have a new hit animated show. Moonbeam City is a police comedy that takes place in a very hyper-stylized 80s world. So right away, if this show looks a little bit familiar to you, it's because it's done in the art styling of Patrick Nagel, who's a famous art deco illustrator who's had a lot of his work published in Playboy magazine, and he did an album cover for Duran Duran. The show stars Rob Lowe as Dazzle, the completely incompetent police officer. Elizabeth Banks plays Pizzazz, the police chief who does all the typical 80s police chief things, you know, she's always yelling and throwing things, and she's always mad, she's like, the mayor's gonna have my ass, etc, etc. Uh, I don't think she's actually said that, but uh, you get the idea. Kate Mara plays Chrysalis, the rookie police officer, who is the only person in the show that's not stupid, or an asshole, or a stupid asshole. And Will Forte plays Rad, Dazzle's douchey rival, and by the way, can I just, can I just say how much I love the names of the people in this show? So, I can best describe this show is if Archer took place in the world of Kung Fury, with a little bit of Far Cry Blood Dragon thrown in there. And a lot of people have been comparing this show to Archer, and by far Archer is the superior show, but I do find it interesting that Comedy Central is currently running reruns of Archer, so this feels like an attempt to make their own version of Archer. So cop comedies like this have been done before, but this show does manage to be pretty funny. Uh, a lot of the humor comes from the banter, the back and forth, especially when Dazzle gets pissed off. She says, she says all kinds of hilarious things. Like there was, uh, what was it? Oh yeah, she, <laughs> she, um, she walked in and she said something like, uh, "What in the name of God's name is going on here?" <laughs> it's just little things like that are really funny. There's a lot of self-referential humor too, especially uh, considering the style the show is in. Um, there's this part in one episode where they're eating glitter dogs, which are like hot dogs covered in glittery crap. So they were eating these things and Chrysalis was like, is that food? And Rad was like, yeah, glitter dogs are awesome. They're rainbow colored meat. They look like if somebody ground up a My Little Pony into a hot dog. And now that thought is in your head. You're welcome. In the most recent episode I saw, they were, uh, having a shootout and the building exploded that they were they were supposed to go into and then Crystal was like look here comes our backup and then it was a, a car driving down the street and then it just like the explosion just blew the car away and they were like crap <laughs> I will say that this show is a lot better than some of the other attempts Comedy Central has made at other animated series um, of course South Park is still number one um, but a lot of the oh, oh some of their other stuff is just so terrible it was Trip Tank and uh, to this day, I will never understand how Brickleberry lasted more than one season. Or was even made at all. Oh, and by the way, Ugly Americans was great. And as much as I do like this show, I think this might be one of those rare occasions where I think I like it more for its style as opposed to what it's about. It does have some pretty impressive visuals, especially since uh, Titmouse is working on it, and uh, the animation style is very similar to some of their other stuff like uh, Metalocalypse. Um, as far as it catching on, I don't know if it will. It may just run for uh, one season, and we'll probably never see it again, which is a shame, because it's not that bad. Um, so at the very least, I would say give it a shot. So that's all I got for Moonbeam City. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought of it. My name is Rob, and have a wonderful day.